Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No, it's not. I hope she doesn't snap. I might have saved our lives in that meat locker, you know? Hmm. Hmm. The girl 
still still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! What the hell happened? Thought you said you could handle it. God, you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. For Christ. You think you... Ah! Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. There's not much time now. Get out! 
some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. There was no saving her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile marked, No Hypocrites, and you can use everything else. I don't like living like this. Christ, folks. It's not getting any easier. We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out!
She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. 